morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of the day it is while you're watching this. Been for a run this morning and had breakfast. And today we're going to go to a Tazia Sanctuary. So there's two supposed um, sanctuaries in the island of Boho in the Philippines. One of them is not really a sanctuary and the other one actually is. So we're going to go and uh, go there today, which is not too far away from the city that we're staying in. And Tazias are apparently native um, to the island of Boho. And we're also going to go to a butterfly sanctuary. So there's a few places like that in Boho as well, and some of them are not really sanctuaries. So I've done my little bit of research, and I found one that is actually a sanctuary, so I'll take you along that place as well. So I've arrived. It's possibly not the best time of the day to come, because there's a lot of, I think, tour sort of bands here. But that's all right. Um, there's no guarantee that we will see them either, and it's highly likely that they'll have their eyes closed. They're nocturnal uh, creatures. But anyway, I will take you in and I'll let you know how much it costs um, to enter into the place as well. So we've been around the place. Sorry, I'm whispering to keep your noise down so that you don't disturb them. So it's 16 pesos, Filipino peso, to get into the place. And the guides will go around in the morning before it opens and check to see who they are. And then uh, people. So the downside of getting a scooter is that sometimes when it rains and you're going at a certain speed, this girl's across the road, um, waving for us, um, the rain starts to kind of hurt your face after a while, so just pull down for a little bit. butterfly sanctuary and they told us some really interesting facts about the butterflies uh, they have quite a few that are like dead and, and enclosed on display um, but they told us that that was they were collected after they died because some butterflies don't you know they don't live for very long